My name is Bernie Fox and I'm the Harder Family Chair for Cancer Research at the Early Childs Research Institute in Portland, Oregon. What excites me most is the uh, objective clinical responses we're seeing in so many histologies in patients who are receiving immunotherapy. So this was the, the CITSI-led Global Immunoscore project and it was really built on really pioneering work and seminal work by Jerome Galan and Frank Bages at INSERM. And that study led, for the first time, really validated the concept that the immune system and evaluation and objective assessment of immune infiltrates into the cancer was associated with a, an improved outcome for patients. Uh, and most importantly, what it showed is that patients who did not have that are at very high risk of disease recurrence and progression of their cancer. So it's going to be most important in the patients that can be identified that don't have those immune infiltrates. That's going to identify the patients who we think don't have an immune response against their cancer. What we can do is when patients have got that early stage and, but they don't have an immune system, we can put them on clinical trials that might boost their immune system. So things like cancer vaccines or maybe uh, an anti-PD-1 or an OX40 kind of study could be given to those patients. The immunoscore was really pioneering in that it was the very first time we could actually objectively assess cells and show that it had clinical relevance. So most recently, we've been trying to do is build on that, to, to take it to the next level. And so I think in the next generation of this immunoscore type or immunoprofiling, we're, we're seeing that we want to look at multiple things, multiple different markers of immune cells, and look at how they interact with one another. So in the immunoscore, we were doing single stains. So we could look at one cell type, and, and then we had to look at the next slide to see the next cell type. And we couldn't look at relationships. Now we can look at, with using the multiplex sort of approach, we can actually look at immune cells, at markers on whether those cells are activated, um, or whether there are suppressive cells that are nearby that might influence them. And so that's a real exciting part of this, uh, uh, th this process. And we're hearing a bit about this already at this meeting here in the biomarker session on Friday. What the clinic ultimately needs to accomplish the things I just spoke about, it's gonna need CLIA certified tests that are going to let us use the results we get for clinical decision making. Um, and so what I see moving forward are gonna be the automated staining and the, and the algorithms that are gonna let us objectively assess the, the, the infiltrates or the immune cell um, relationships in a way that doesn't rely so much on investigators making the call. Because what we're seeing is that while the gene expression profiling gives you one thing, it doesn't let you see the relationships. And that is where phenoptics is going to be critical because we're finding that that relationship of cells to one another is, is, is of critical importance in the studies we've been doing. So I'm really excited about that. I think that while there are many challenges, and I don't want to uh, underplay at all the number of challenges we have, it's really exciting that we've got these kinds of tools that are usable in almost anybody's lab um, to address really important questions that are, have clinical relevance.